Hello, I'm Connie Planson. I'm the CEO at Maumee Valley Guidance Center. Um, we're just really happy to be having this celebration today to be opening our new office here on Wilson Street in Bryan. Uh, the Guidance Center offers a lot of services to the community. We do individual, group, family therapy. A lot of the groups we do, we have a group for anger management. We have a group for uh, people that need assistance with mental health, drug, alcohol, or substance abuse issues. In addition to that, we prescribe medication to those that may need it to help with their mental illness. Um, we are using telehealth, and telehealth is a wonderful way to increase access for clients to get in to see a provider very quickly. We do a lot of other services here for the community. We um, train residents in the community to be mental health first aid responders. We also do some prevention programming for the school system, for our youth. We um, have a clubhouse program, which is a social rec program for those people that struggle with a severe and persistent mental illness. So this facility here has really given us the opportunity to expand our services and make it more comfortable for the people that are receiving our services. So it's been an exciting day for us today to welcome the community into our facility and open the facility and, and make sure people know what we have to offer so that if they need to access those services, they know that we're here. They said this a little bit ago that they've been here for 58 years and been in a brand new 7,000 square foot facility to help folks in the area. And we understand this and how important it is because part of what they look at is when you look on the addiction side in Washington, we just passed 57 bills in the House. One of the bills was my bill on the Info Act to help local communities find the services on the federal side and really importantly, the money out there to help uh, because of so many issues, especially when you're looking at opioid addiction. Uh, we lost 5,232 people in the state of Ohio uh, at the end of June 30th of last year. When you look at what's happened uh, nationally, we're losing 115 people a day to opioid addiction. And so with the 57 bills that we passed out of the House, you know, we wanna make sure that the Senate takes these bills up but because we wanna make sure that folks get the help that they need out there because we just can't have this uh, going on because it's, it's not only does it hurt people, it hurts families, it hurts the community. So it's really important what they're doing here today. It's really important with the services they, they provide. Uh, I was a county commissioner for six years and know how important it is for the local communities and the work that the, the mayor and the commissioners and everyone else works with the Adams boards. So I just want to congratulate uh, the city of Bryan, Williams County for this beautiful facility. Uh, this is, this is a great day for the, the community of Bryan and also for Northwest Ohio. Uh, Maumee Valley, you know, they've been around a long time and they've um, had many services that, that have helped thousands of people here in the in Northwest Ohio area. Um, and as Connie mentioned earlier, you know, it just continues to change. You know, mental health issue is such a big issue. I know down in Columbus we passed uh, some bills this past couple weeks dealing with mental health issues and we just have to continue to monitor it because um, it's, it's such an important issue that we have to look at as uh, in mental health. Um, and one of the key things I feel that, uh, that we need to make sure happens is that the, what they say the right hand and the left hand know what's going on. And that includes law enforcement, school officials, uh, local county officials, Jobs and Family Services, Maumee Valley, so everybody knows, you know, what, what's happening and because uh, I feel that's very important as we look at, you know, this mental health issue now and in the future. I think the hardest part of being mayor is that I have so many things that I want to do and accomplish in the first four years and with that my priority is the health and well-being of our community and our constituents. Having places like Maumee Valley Counseling or Guidance Center um, helps us in that goal. Mental illness is something that hits every community. Um, unfortunately, there's still a lot of shame to that and having resources like this for our community helps one, 
um, make it more acceptable to be acknowledged with those mental illnesses and get the counseling that you need, um, hopefully in a reduction with the self-medication because with mental illness and other things, we tie in our opiate crisis. So if we can get them to the appropriate people um, that can help them, um, it helps me as a mayor, it helps our community, it gives them credence within our community to know that they're valued and important and part of us. Um, so I just would like to congratulate Mommy Valley on their success and their presence in the Bryan and Williams County communities over the years. Um, this facility is beautiful and I'm very happy for them that they can continue to do the good work for us. I'm really excited to have them in the community. They've been they've been neighbors of ours for many years. So coming out here, it's a little, they're a little bit further away from from the chamber, but we're excited that with what a beautiful building and what a great opportunity for our community to have such a great organization within Bryan. Uh, I couldn't say enough about Connie and her staff. They are just a fantastic organization, and I look forward to seeing what they can do for all of the community and the entire. Williams County area. So we're, we're really excited to have them here and uh, congratulations on a great new building. I'm Les McCaslin. Uh, I'm the CEO of the Four County Adams Board. Uh, we provide uh, funding, monitoring, and planning for Williams, Henry, Defiance, and Fulton Counties. Uh, the project that's, uh, that's here in Williams County and Bryan that's uh, uh, part of Maumee Valley has been a partnership that we've had with Maumee Valley for oh gosh, probably close to 45 or 50 years, uh, going back that far. Uh, this represents the ability for Maumee Valley to truly serve severely mentally disabled adults and children, along with those suffering from uh, addiction issues, in a modern, uh, bright, and, and, and uh, technologically uh, upgraded facility. Uh, specifically when I say that, they have the ability to provide uh, telemedicine services, uh, psychiatric services, which means the wait time is almost uh, uh, nil for someone uh, requiring a psychiatric uh, examination and possibly medication. Um, it's not only for the severely mentally disabled, those individuals that, that they really don't know what's wrong, they don't feel well, uh, this would be a good start to, to get an evaluation to see uh, because simple depression can be easily treated uh, within uh, you know, a few days with some medication. Connie Planson has been instrumental. Uh, Connie's the CEO of, of uh, Maumee Valley in, in providing the services here, and they have a long standing reputation in the community to provide a wonderful and high quality services uh, to the individuals of Williams County, but the whole area too. So, I'm Doug Bailey from uh, Ohio Mental Health and Addiction Services. And I'm really glad to be here in Bryan today uh, to dedicate and cut the ribbon on this new mental health center. Uh, at the state, we're really, um, really pleased to partner with our local uh, Adams boards and service provider organizations like uh, my Mommy Valley. Um, and we are really interested in seeing people get services that they need to get better, to uh, continue their recovery. You know, when folks have mental health issues or addiction issues, I think it's really important to understand that folks need uh, sometimes some help somebody to come alongside them to help them recover. And well, not only that, um, but those services can be provided in a, a welcoming environment. You know, um, Les McCaslin, the board uh, exec here in uh, Four County area, I think said something at the ribbon cutting this morning that was really important. He talked about um, uh, just good enough is not good enough. and to provide really nice facilities like this new center in Bryan is, um, it, I think it shows people that uh, we care. We care about them, we care about the possibility that uh, they may be in need of services and that they have uh, a bright and uh, uh, a well-appointed um, kind of cheery space to start their recovery. And uh, we know that people are getting services every day and people are engaging in their recovery every day. And so it's, it's really good to be here and see a place where that's going to happen. And it's going to happen for more folks because we've got a, a larger space and we can accommodate more people in this location. We, uh, we really believe that uh, it's going to work well for the community. It's going to blend right in and, and people are going to uh, be better and uh, they're going to get well because of that. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Jasmine Torbett and I'm the clinical manager here at Mommy Belly Guidance Center. And I'm going to be talking about our outpatient therapy department and the services that we provide. Our outpatient therapy department serves clients from the ages of three all the way through the lifespan and focuses on a variety of issues such as adjustment, behavioral issues, all the way to more persistent mental illness. Our clinicians are master level therapists who provide individual counseling, um, group counseling, family, as well as couples therapy. We offer evidence-based treatment and we also offer group treatment including anger management group, dual diagnosis group which focuses on mental health as well as addiction issues, and seeking safety group which is a women's group that focuses on trauma, mental health issues, as well as addiction. Our clinicians work really hard to meet clients where they're at in terms of readiness to change and they really work with our clients to promote positive behavioral changes in their lives. We also offer home-based therapy which allows clients the flexibility to be seen within the home, school, and the community. In order to get linked with services, all one would have to do is call one of our four office locations, talk to a customer service representative, and get set up for a diagnostic assessment. We can typically get people seen within one to three days. I'm Rochelle McDonald. I am the supervisor of the case management department here at Maumee Valley Guidance Center. Our case management department serves adults and youth who have mental and emotional disorders. We serve ages three years old and up. Um, we have case managers in our defiance, Brian, Wasian, and Napoleon offices. Uh, the goal of our case managers is to keep the clients um, in their natural environment um, by promoting independence. Um, so we link clients to um, community resources, um, and um, promote um, independence by advocating for them um, and linking them to several community resources. Our goal is to promote independence um, by advocating for the clients, linking them to community resources, and we're available to our clients 24 hours a day. Another service that we provide is our Clubhouse program, which is a social rec program which promotes wellness to decrease isolation. Um, some of the local activities that we do are, um, we attend the Sauter's Village, um, Spangler's Candy Tour. Um, we also volunteer at the local humane societies. Hi, I'm Karen Von Dielen. I am the Prevention Manager at Maumee Valley Guidance Center, and I'm going to talk to you about the prevention programs we provide in our communities. The first prevention uh, program that we have is called Mental Health First Aid. It is a national program that we offer to our community and it teaches people about basic mental health um, symptoms, um, coping strategies, resources. It's similar to first aid and CPR. It's what can somebody do to help somebody who might be experiencing mental illness, mental health crisis. How can we get them to a professional link to services? Um, and help you know those people, whether it's your family members, friends, your neighbors, just people in the community. We also have the Healthy Ideas. Our Healthy Ideas program targets our senior citizens. There's a brief um, survey that they take, a screening, um, and then they see if they are high risk for depression, any suicidal thoughts, and then we help um, those who are identified as high risk um, get linked to treatment, community resources, um, maybe some activities in the community, and really help addressing those depression symptoms they might be experiencing. We also have the Signs of Suicide. This is a evidence-based program that goes into our schools. We target 7th graders, 9th graders. Signs of Suicide teaches our youth um, what are symptoms of depression, what are you know warning signs or risk factors for suicide, how to get help if they themselves are feeling suicidal or suffering from symptoms of depression, or what can they do if they have a, a family member or a friend who they're also concerned about, how can they reach out for help. So it really works on identifying depression, um, reaching out if you know, somebody has any thoughts of suicide, um, and how to link them to resources. So that's something that's offered into our school districts here in the community. And then we also have another school-based program called the Incredible Years Program. This is also an evidence-based program. This program goes into our schools, our early elementary students. Uh, we target preschool, kindergarten, first graders, 
and we use puppets. And these puppets help the children to engage in the lessons and we work on social, emotional, and academic competence. Um, so we talk about friendships, um, identifying feelings, coping with anger, um, and things of those sorts. Um, again, this is something that is offered into all of these schools within our four county area. Um, all four of these prevention programs are um, funded through our four county Adams board, so we are very thankful for their support so that we can provide that within our community. If you have any questions about our prevention programs, you can call Mombi Valley Guidance Center at 419-782-8856. Okay. Hi, my name is Linda Pavel. I'm one of the nurses here at Mombi Valley Guidance Center in Defiance, Ohio. Um, I also go to other uh, offices in Bryan and I can go to Wasian. Um, we offer several services. Um, we assist our clients with um, their medication needs and um, we do nurse visits. We also do vital signs for the doctors and the CNPs and we, get, um, we do telemedicine here, um, which is a big screen and our, our clients speak with the CNPs there. Um, and if they have any concerns, then we have several uh, things that we offer. They can call in and we can assist them with that or they can stop by the office and we will do our best to um, address their concerns in a timely manner. My name is Jenny Heffel and I head up the program Supportive Services for Veterans Family through Maumee Valley Guidance Center. This program works with veterans that are other than dishonorably discharged, have a low income, and have a housing need. Participants that are at risk of losing their housing, so those individuals that have an eviction order and or a foreclosure. We also work with those veterans that are literally homeless in the five county area, Fulton, Henry, Williams, Defiance, and Paulding. We have an outreach person going out into the communities to look for veterans. We also have a case manager on board providing case management with that individual from day one um, working towards stability. This program provides uh, financial aid to those individuals that are in crisis and need housing stability. Um, we can, in a best case scenario, work with that individual for up to eight months providing rent and other uh, services to help them become more stable. We also work with them from day one on a housing stability plan to see what they want and what their thoughts are uh, to become stable. We work with other community resources, partnering with them to help this veteran become more stable.